Learning how to ride a bike is a big milestone in a child's life, but learning to ride a two-wheeled bike independently is out of reach for many people living with intellectual and developmental disabilities. There's a new camp that's coming to Maine this summer aimed at getting special needs kids and adults rolling. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee has the story from Yarmouth. Can you get on? Allie and Casey Ford are teaching their son Grady how to ride a bike. You could say biking is in their blood. The couple own this bike repair shop. Grady loves to imitate his older brother who does downhill biking. He'll get on a bike and just try to pretend to jump it, you know, because that's like what his, his brother, brother does. does. Turn this way. The eight year old has Down syndrome and low muscle tone, which can make learning this milestone challenging. Pedaling is uh, a struggle for him. He just doesn't want to continue pedaling. He would rather push with his feet at this point. Grady will be taking part in the I Can Bike Camp next month. Developed by the nonprofit I Can Shine, more than 20,000 individuals with disabilities worldwide have learned to ride since the nonprofit was founded 14 years ago. It's open to kids and adults eight and older with a range of of intellectual and physical disabilities. Betsy Sear, a pediatric physical therapist, volunteered at an ICANN bike camp in Massachusetts. She's helping bring the camp to Maine for the first time. It promotes social inclusion, because how many kids do we know who are typically developing that get to ride bikes with their family and friends? For a $250 fee per rider, the camp utilizes specialized equipment, staff, and training to make the thrill of riding a bike a reality. I Can Bike says on average, 80% of participants learn how to ride independently, plus other skills. They're learning to stop start a bike, they're also learning to build their self-confidence, and it can often be empowering for them. Campers attend hour and a half sessions for five days a week, each day supported by the same two volunteers. Now to make sure that the first main I Can Bike Camp is successful, at least 60 volunteers are needed to support the participants. Casey is providing free bike tune-ups and adjustments for camp participants. There are also donated bikes available for families to use. <laughs> Learning to ride a bike can also improve social skills and bring new relationships for people with disabilities. A potentially life-changing experience for Grady. To have him included in, in when we go out and ride. And his entire family. In Yarmouth, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. There are still spots available to register for the ICANN Bike Camp Portland, which takes place June 28th through July 2nd in the parking lot of the Casco Bay Arena in Falmouth. For more information, go to our website or app.